Next into the tank is a savvy 17-year-old who's not letting school get in the way of his sweet entrepreneurial dreams. My ultimate goal for my business is to be a household name throughout the world. Age is no barrier. Cool pants. <laughs> Hi Sharks, my name is Morgan Hipworth. I'm 17 years old and I'm the owner and founder of Bistro Morgan, an artisan donut store based in Melbourne. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Today I'm here for $200,000 in exchange for 20% equity in my business. Bistro Morgan was born when I was 13 years old and I started supplying a cafe with local goods. From there, things just kind of blew up. I was featured in numerous media outlets, and a whole whirlwind of opportunities came at me. I ended up supplying around 20 cafes around Melbourne until I was absolutely desperate on a permanent store. And my parents being, you know, parents, they were like, no, you're not allowed a permanent store till you're out of school. <laughs> so we came to a compromise that, how about we do a pop-up store? And before they knew, I was on the phone to real estate agents and had already <laughs> sorted out a location for my store. And the eight days went so well, we ended up selling over 10,000 donuts in oh those eight days. Oh my goodness. So from there, the store came up for permanent lease. I eventually convinced my parents after many arguments at the dinner table. <laughs> and the store's been open around 15 months now. We continue to supply around 10 to 20 cafes and dessert bars around Melbourne. So yeah, it's, you know, keeps me busy as well as being in year 12 in high school. So I'm in my final year of school. So I think now's a good time to maybe try some of the dough. Oh, oh well done. Thank you, Janine. Well done. Well done. Well done. Amazing. Yeah, face up the goods. Yeah, let's yeah. try, let's yeah. try, let's right. try them. <laughs> so we got our cookie monster, which is filled with cake batter. This is our class clown, which is filled with chocolate hazelnut and then Kit Kat and marshmallow. A Bruno Mars, which is Mars bar and salted caramel. Triple T's, which is chocolate hazelnut. Tim Tam. <laughs> Date night, which is white chocolate, popcorn, caramel, and chalk hazelnut. And then our gay time crunch, which is based off the ice cream, the golden gay time, and made into a donut. My favourite. I'll have that one in the middle there, this one here. Thank you. The class clown. Class clown. That kind of suits uh, you. I'll take the middle one. Yeah. Thank you. See? And that's got cake batter in it. Cake batter right? Yeah. Well, yeah. well you can't you're going go to knock, and, yourself and you, out, knock yourself out, you right? You sell it with a syringe. Yeah, too. exactly right. It. Tastes really good. And who comes up with the recipes? So you were, are asking for 200000 yep. for 20%, valuing yep. your business at $1 million. That's right. That's like not that a bad ask for a 17-year-old. When you did that $10,000 worth of sales, how 10,000 donuts. 10,000 10, 10, donuts? Yeah, and the donuts are five fifty each for retail. Oh. Oh. 55000 on your opening weekend in a pop-up. Opening, yeah, eight days, yeah. It must have shut mum and dad down, did it? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> 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 I work about 60 hours a week on the business, and oh, then I'm also and, full. In school. <laughs> Take me through your day. A normal day? OK, so a normal day would be I get up around 4, 4.30, um, head down to the shop, get some of the orders and the wholesale orders out, and then from there I'll head off to school, and I get in, get all my homework done in recess. So I try and work through all my recesses, all my lunch breaks. You're working harder than most people I know. Amazing. Yeah. When do you have fun? This is fun. Oh, good This is what good I answer. absolutely oh, great love. great answer. Great answer. So can we do the, your current financial performance first? So our total revenue for last calendar year was $500,000, with net profit 130. Wow. This year? Four, yeah, four houses, 850,000, and then three to 350 profit. Did you clarify for us what you're going to spend the 200000 on? Yeah, I'd love to have Bistro Morgan flagship stores. Our product is one of those that people will travel for. Listen, uh, Morgan, I'm already a shareholder in a pretty substantial national donut business, and I'm not sure I'm the right partner for you to scale this next stage. I think you are a force of nature. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank you. But I'm out. No worries. Morgan, um, you know, for a middle-aged guy who's trying to keep his weight down, 
I'm really <coughs> concerned about this product. <laughs> Dangerous, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. What I notice about my investments lately in the food space is they are in health and wellness products. Yeah. So for me, I'm out. Yeah, no worries. Morgan, I think you're at such a delight Thank and you. such an energy, and um, I'm sure your parents are incredibly proud of you, yeah. and they should be. Uh, it's not an obvious fit for me in terms of the value that I can add. For this deal, I'm out. No worries. Morgan, if there was one person in Australia... Yeah whose business you love, that you'd love to spend an hour with, who would that be? Um, Janine Ellis. There we go. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate, you can have that. So, I'll make you a deal. I will offer you 200,000 for 42%. Oh, <laughs> bottom feeder. Come on, he's a The reason being a is, this oh. is going to take me a lot more time, so I'm actually valuing in my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> he's a miner, he can't deal inappropriately with miners. What are you doing? Come on now. <laughs> hey? Well, are you in or out, Steve? Well, so, um, the deal I was looking at was uh, $200,000 for 30%. So just to summarise, Janine's offered you 200,000 for 42%. Steve has offered you 200,000 for 30%. Is 12% of the business worth the expertise Mate, 42 that is, I've brought? 42 is horrible. You, you cannot do four. I, I ban you. I, I forbid you from doing 42. Is 12% worth the 20 years experience that I can bring to you during this business? Morgan has landed two sharks willing to invest $200,000 in his donut empire. But they want a much bigger bite of the business than Morgan's proposed 20% stake, with Steve offering 30% and Janine sitting on 42%. I can't... I, I couldn't bear to give away 42% of my own sort of... You're not giving it away. No, no, I know, no, no, it's uh, not, I'm not, I don't mean I'm giveaway. buying it I know, and I know, also I know. I'm giving you my time. I know, I know. She's ruthless. I think that's yeah. a no. She's ruthless. Make a counter Can you do any better? I'm at 30%, Ooh. mate. I'm at 30%. May I go back and have a chat with my mum and my dad? Absolutely. All right, no worries. I'll be back. Have a chat. Thanks. I'm not to. <laughs> Janine, he's not going to give you 42%. Well, he can come back for the counter. Hmm? You're worthless. I think you need to speak yeah. to Dad. Yeah? Hey, it's me. Hi. Oh, good mate. We've got two offers. We've got one from Janine Ellis um, yes. for the 200000 but it's for 42%. I yeah. think you know how I feel about that. Yeah. And then we've got one from Steve for 30%. I think that they're getting uh, something pretty easy, that you've got to stick with 20%. Uh, you don't move to that. Here he comes. Right, here we go. Oh, his mum. Ah. Mum's crazy. I can <laughs> see it. Welcome. Hi. You are? I'm Ali. I'm Ali. Morgan's mum. Hi, Ali. Uh, how are you? Good, thank proud. you. A proud mum indeed. Yes, yeah, he keeps us busy. He keeps <laughs> you busy. <laughs> and challenged. And yeah. challenged. But yeah, we just call my dad as well. Oh, too. good. Yeah. So you consulted the board, I get that? We did. Yeah. So just to remind you, Janine's offered you 200000 for 42% of your business. Yeah. And Steve has offered you 200000 for 30% of your business. So what are you going to do? So we've had a bit of a chat. My dad was pretty firm. <laughs> uh, so he thinks that I'm a worthwhile investment as such. So would any of you be willing to do anything for 20? 20% 20 is a no. I will do 33%. I 
I know this. I have lived every up, every down, every tier. So I think you're getting me cheap for 33. Steve, are you going to revise your offer? Um, I'm not. I'm not changing my offer. Okay. So what are you going to do? Morgan, you're allowed to counter. Yeah. Shane, would you do 25 percent? Please, just go into the 20s. Please, oh. Janine. That it's. Don't get on your knees. Whatever you do. <laughs> I want to do the deal with you, but for, for me, I'm, I'm not prepared to move at all. If you walk away from here, I will still spend time with you. I don't want you to feel that it's bad. Yep. I actually know that what I've offered is actually a good deal, yep. but I don't want you feeling that. So you've got me either way, but you can have me as an equity holder, yep. or you can have me as a mentor. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we don't feel comfortable going above the 20% mark at this point in time. I, I can't go yeah, below. Yeah, that's okay. But I will still spend time with you. Yeah. We would love to take you up on having a you know, relationship. Mate, you've got me. <laughs> and who knows, I may be an equity partner. Yeah, no. somewhere down the track. But I will definitely, definitely, Thank definitely you. be catching up. Thank you, Janine. Well done. Congratulations. Thank Amazing no worries, presentation. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, Thank well done. You. Great to meet you. Thank you so much. So, Morgan, well done. Go out of here proud of what you've done. Thank Bye. you so much, guys. Great to meet you. Good luck, Morgan. Right. Shelley. Take care. Thanks, Morgan. He would have been better off having you as a partner, and he will grow faster. No, so, no. Thank I you, Andrew. We'll I find, agree with that. I think he will find he will do OK. I'll help him. I'm real happy to have Janine as a mentor. She's got so Fantastic. much experience in the food sector, and it's just absolutely amazing to just pick her brains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. You can wear this one tonight. Yeah. First into the tank tonight, a savvy young businesswoman who's not letting age stand in her way. My name's Briella. I'm just like any other 20-year-old girl. I love hanging out with my friends, going to the beach, and most of all, I love shopping. What do you think? I like them. I have always wanted to run my own business, even from a very early age. I came up with this business idea from personal experience, so it's helped me, my friends, and hopefully lots of other women in Australia. This 20-year-old is ready to take on the world. My name is Briella, and I am the founder and director of Your Closet. I am here today seeking an $80,000 investment for a 20% stake in my business. Please let me introduce my gorgeous models who will be modeling some of my gorgeous dresses. Your Closet is an online service that allows women to rent high-end designer fashion from Australia's leading designers, including Camilla Mark, Nicholas, and Josh Gu for a fraction of the purchase price. Let me take you back to the beginning. Two years ago, I was invited to four formals in four weeks. First world problems, I know. <laughs> and I'm sure you are all very aware, formal dresses are extremely expensive. And the craziest thing is, we often only wear them once. It was driving my mum crazy and my dad broke and he didn't even know the full story. I launched the business in August 2014. And since launching, I quickly realised, hey, this business has some legs. And it's not just applicable to young girls renting for formal, it's applicable to all women who want to look fabulous when it matters most. This includes going to the races, New Year's Eve, red carpet galas, cocktail events, birthdays, work functions, and everything in between. My vision for your closet is to revolutionise the way women look at special occasion wear and to normalise the option of renting 
I've got the business to where it is today by myself, but I need one of you to help me supercharge your closet. Sharks, are you ready to dress for success? Ah, well done. Lovely. Great job. Great presentation. A Briella, was it? Yes. Great. So a woman can rent a dress for a fraction of a cost, a fraction of $1,000. Tell us about that. We rent our dresses out based on a percentage of their retail price. So it's roughly about 18 to 20% of the retail price of the dress. So if a dress is $1,000, you rent it out for about 180 to 200. So just quickly how it works is you jump onto the Your Closet website, you view our big range of dresses and from the latest designers, you pick one that you love, you then choose a delivery date, the dress arrives to you in a pristine box, looking amazing, you then wear it to your event, and then on the fourth day, you simply slip it into a prepaid, pre-addressed satchel and drop it off to Australia Post. Sounds pretty good. We take care of the dry cleaning. That's fantastic, Brella. Very clever, creative idea. Thank you. How long do I have to wait? I've, I've suddenly been invited to an event, it was very short notice, and I need the dress quickly. What's my minimum wait time? If you're in Sydney, three hours, ah. get it straight away. And then other capital cities, one day, so we can send an express to arrive the next morning for you. What's your size range? At the moment, it's six to 12. Now, the average woman is, is a bit bigger than that. They're sort of 12 to 14. Are you cutting a lot of your market at the moment? Yeah, and I'm looking to expand this over the next 12 months. G'day, sorry, I'm Steve. Where are you from, Briella? I'm from Manly in the Northern Beaches. Oh, nice, Sydney, okay, great. Hey, um, uh, so I imagine some of these functions you go to, like races and formals, for example, there may be some damage, especially the races, there may be some damage to the, to the dresses. How's that handled? What, how does bonds or insurances work? What happens there? Roughly one in 200 dresses, so half a percent of dresses come back damaged. Women appreciate that these are gorgeous gowns and they treat, they treat them well. So what happens to the one in 200 that are damaged? In that case, the customer is asked to pay a small fee and then takes on full ownership of that dress. So they're asked to pay the other 90, 80, sorry, 80 odd percent, is that right? Yes, and then we just send them that dress to enjoy. Well, hang on, sorry, you said a small fee. So if it's, if you're only paying 20% of the dress and it's a $1,000 dress, a small fee is $800. I guess that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> you damage it, you own it. Is that it? Basically, yeah, that's essentially it. Do you own the dresses? Yes. How did you get the stock? I actually took out a personal loan to fund the business. How much of? $82,000. $82, How old are you? I'm 20. You're doing a great job. Well great. done. Thank you. What's, what's your value in dresses you have in the business, please? Around $200,000. Where are you warehousing these? Uh, this is run out of my house at the moment. You must have an extraordinarily large wardrobe. I've converted nearly every room in my house to some house store. Some... Your parents must be very accommodating. Oh, they're com incredibly supportive. So let's talk about the revenue so far. So just say the last three or four months, month by month, what's your revenue been? 35, 35 and 36. 1,000? Yes. And what's your costs against that? A cost, our profit, it runs at around 55% of revenue. Did you take a wage? Not at the moment. No wage, All okay, so... All the revenue that is coming in is reinvested back into the business. I have two daughters going to formals. I'll tell you, I have felt your dad's pain this year. For me, um, I, I don't think I add a lot of value as a partner to you, and, and that's what you need. Someone who understands the fashion industry um, and will partner with you to help scale this up quickly and own this space in, in the Australian market. And uh, I, I think what you've done to date is sensational. Uh, but I'm out. Thank you for your feedback. Briella, wow, 20 years old. I'm embarrassed, I can't recall, I was doing a 20, it wasn't this. Um, that's 35,000 bucks a month is incredible. Um, I've had a lot of similar dress marketplaces, shoe marketplaces, God knows what, fashion marketplaces presented to me. And that they, they have a lot of trouble answering the questions that you've actually proved probably aren't issues, at least in your model anyway. Um, um, I'm just gonna take a break on that and have a think actually. See what else is going to happen. 
Ladies, you're the experts in this area. Look, normally if it's something like $80,000, it's hardly worth splitting it with um, someone, you know, 40, 40, it's not worth it. In this case, however, um, I'm strong in digital marketing, but I'm not strong in logistics. I will actually go, if, if Steve will have me, I will actually do a deal with Steve, on, with you on it, if he'll, if he'll take it. Uh, the, the deal will be $80,000 for 30% split. Are you going into that, Steve? I'm just trying to work out if I want to get into the fashion game. Briella Brown is seeking $80,000 for a 20% stake in her formal dress hire business, Your Closet. Glenn is out. Janine has made an offer, but it's on the condition that Steve joins her. Are you going into that, Steve? I'm just trying to work out if I want to get into the fashion game. All right, well, hold that thought. Naomi, are you ready to go? If I was to make an offer, it would be dependent on really um, making sure that we do have sign-off on the logistics because at the moment, it's literally a home-based business and your family and you will implode if that doesn't get sorted really quickly. You've asked for $80,000. I'd be looking for... 40% of your business. Wow. OK, so $80,000 for 40%. Janine, a provisional $80,000 for 30%, assuming Steve may go with her. Are you an any or...? Look, I think you are amazing, and you're incredible, you, what you've done. You've got a great front end, the, the, the idea's great, the website's great. But you're a bit like Amazon, a tiny Amazon. You've got a huge logistics back end. And that's going to need a lot of management time, and it will also really damage your margins as you grow. For those reasons, I'm out, but I really wish you well. Thank you. A bit like Andy, I think that you're the, you're the gem in this business. One of the big issues I've got is that fashion doesn't do it for me. If I were you, I would try to get those two to go together on 35%. That's the deal you want out of this entire tank. Uh, I'm out. If you want, I can help you negotiate with those two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Janine, would you go in with me? But I, I want 40%. Yeah, I, I would, um, yep, certainly. Love to. You want two sharks at 20% each? Can I please have a minute to discuss with my dad? Of course. Thank you. How are you, Dad? <gasps> Good. Good. So, it all went all right? Great. Good. Yes. And the offers I've got so far is Janine and Naomi, the two women, right. have offered 40%, 20% each for $80,000. Right. right. What an amazing young lady. I mean... Far out. I wonder if my children, surely she can date one of them. If you felt confident that they can both add significant value to that business over the course of the next, of the future, do you go 15% each for 30% for that same money? <laughs> I can see the house now, can't you? Bedrooms full of clothes. Oh, yeah. You spoke to your dad? Yes. And what did he say? What do you think? I'm proposing 30%, so 15-15, for the $80,000. I'm confident in the business growth, in the idea, in my passion, and I think the skill sets that I may bring. So that's your counteroffer? Yes, that's my counteroffer, 30%. $80,000 for 30%. Yes. The, the reality is also we've got to go backwards, go forward, because right now you're, you're in your home, so we've got to get... There's got to be a warehouse, there's got to be more staff. So there's, a, there's a quite a big execution risk, as in loss-making. 
The other thing is that we actually know we're going to have to put more money into the business, whatever that looks like in terms of loans or what have you, because you're going to need dry cleaning on site at the warehousing so that you don't have that as a cost. And that logistics is actually critical to your growth. And unless you get that right, and you know what your life is like right now, don't you? Yes. I know. And that is not sustainable. So the investment that's going to need to be made to set that up, there's going to be more capital required. And you've got, you know, two businesswomen who've been there, done that, and there's a hell of a lot of experience that we're bringing to the table, not just cash. What I'd like to suggest as well mm. is, you know, sweat for equity. As you said, you're not taking a wage, but let's actually calculate it as we go, and then you can get equity for your sweat as we go. So you understand they're saying because you're working in the business, yes. they'll give you the opportunity to get some equity, some shares back, based on your service as the CEO driving the business. And that's what I did with my business. Take it, Briella. Briella, basically you're making the decision about how valuable will be the rest of my equity two years from now if I go with these people or whether I do my own thing. Make your call. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, well there done. we go. <laughs> Good decision. Oh, Brie. Oh, well done. That's Thank you gorgeous. so much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. This is the Good best decision. day of my life. Yeah. It's great. Congratulations. Let's grow this business. I'm your girl. Great. Right. <laughs> and you're my girl. <laughs> I have, and I have some wonderful sons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you it. so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So excited, so excited. To be 20 and to have Janine and Naomi on board now, that is, that's huge. Can you even get your head around that? <laughs> Can I, I feel like this is a dream right now. I don't, like, oh my gosh, life goals. We get to really grow a young entrepreneur. She's gonna be amazing though. She's got, she's a rocket ride, let me tell you. Next in the tank is an experienced entrepreneur from Sydney who's hoping to wow the sharks with his eco-friendly and innovative product. I'm feeling exceptionally nervous. This is our livelihood, this business. We've lived it and breathed it for the last three years. With the amount of money I'm asking for, I hope the sharks don't get scared off. My name is Kane, I'm the CEO of iCapsulate. 13 years ago, I made a clear and conscious decision to turn my life around and build a strong and successful company. I'm here today to ask you for two and a half million dollars for 15% of my company. <laughs> so that was 2.5? It is. Wow. <laughs> for okay. 15%. I'll go hard or go home. All right, get into it. Okay. Acapsulate um, is a coffee company specialising in capsules, pods and roasted beans. We're the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. We produce currently 35 million capsules and pods per annum. Uh, we have contracts with Australia and New Zealand's largest coffee companies. Uh, I'm expanding the formats of iCapsulate next year, which will increase that another 20 million pieces. And I'm still to execute two contracts by the end of this year, which will also add another 20 million pieces to the business. The thing with iCapsulate is in June, we'll launch a world first biodegradable, hermetically sealed capsule. Mm. The difference between this and other capsules is our, ours is biodegradable, so we can drop it straight in the garden. The other thing with our capsules is we, we produce the best. We're 35% higher coffee solids than any other manufacturer in Australia. We have the lowest oxygen residual, meaning the freshest coffee capsule as well. So what I would like to do is let you taste the difference between a craft and a good cup of coffee. <laughs> I capsulate being yes. a good one. OK, Kane, and that was $2.5 million for 15% of Which your capsule. Which value is it at? 16.6 million. Yes. How long ago did you start this business? Uh, one and a half years ago. Wow, well, what a great result that is. Wow. This is the first lot. What's this one? This is the one that you don't want to drink. Okay, just have good. a smell first. Good to know. Just so you know, um, as, a, as a point of difference. 
It smells revolting. Yeah. Okay, so this is the bad one. This is evil coffee. Evil coffee. Yeah, it's bitter. Um, you'll notice the capsule's slightly different, and I'll bring some capsules around for you to have yeah, a look thank at. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, the first thing you'll notice is the crema difference in the colour, and I should hope the flavour. Oh, thank you, Chief. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. It's massive. What was your past life? Because you've only been going 18 months. Yeah, so always coffee. My mum was a chef, so instead of working in the kitchen with her, um, I said uh, I'll, I'll stay out and do the bar and coffee. Through school and everything, I continued doing coffee, and I set up a coffee roasting company. Did that for a couple of years, and I was offered um, the technical position for Dow Egberts, so I ran all their technical division for them. And then Gloria Jeans poached me from there, and I ran Gloria Jeans worldwide for their coffee and technical. Wow. So I launched Cafe Italy for Gloria Jeans into Woolworths. Um, and seeing the success of that, I decided to start my own company. What are you most proud of? This is um, my partners and my life. Like, we're, we've invested everything into it. We've lived and breathed the factory. We installed the machinery ourselves. There's $16 million worth of machinery currently on the floor. Well, coffee is our life. So your business is not just putting your own coffee in capsules, it's putting other people's coffee in Correct. capsules as well. So Correct. are you like the tetra pack of capsules? Yes. So our customers, we can say all of Australia's leading manufacturers or coffee companies. All the big coffee brands yeah. that we would know. Yep. So what are your sales? So 37 and a half million at the moment, pieces per annum. Talk to your revenues, please. So um, last year was four million. Four million dollars, that is very impressive. That's very nice. Okay. You've been going for 18 months yep. and you've got $4 million in sales. Yes. Well done. Clearly, you've got everything you need to run a good business. What extra do you need from a shark-type investor? I was offered $25 million for the business probably six months ago and I said no, because I, I believe there's a lot more in it. Marketed correctly, taken through the right fields and, like, to, to apply, put a different application to it, to fit coffee into it, uh, I think that's exactly what a shark could offer. Kane, you are um, very brave. Um, also, you've got courage, and courage to actually be all in. Yeah. So I admire your passion, your courage, and your bravery. <laughs> Unfortunately, I own a coffee business and we sell coffee. I have a conflict of interest. I'm out. OK, thank you. Well, I like the space. I think you're amazing. I'll make you an offer. I don't like the valuation. I think there's a risk involved. So I'm going to offer you two and a half million dollars for 25% of your company. Okay. And I'm going to work on making the other 75% very valuable. Okay. So, Kane, I have to be uh, up front with you. Yeah. Um, I cannot see even where Andrew's sitting. And, and, and my offer, seriously, is two and a half million for 40% based on the work and the numbers you've told me about. Okay. I will give you the mentoring and the coaching support you need to go exponential with this business. Okay. Thank you. I'm buying your growth rate. You've started from nothing, and in 18 months, you got to a phenomenal space. But I will counter that little conversation there by saying I am the scale-up guy. I, I am so experienced in taking companies from small to large. So, you know, but he's a tea of, He's a tea of being an Australian-based yeah. mentor, which is what you need, I'd be there for you. So, so if you want to take a business that solves pig's ears and have itself look more pig's ears, mate, Glenn's your bloke, right? What? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm exceptionally curious, and these are these inferior coffee pods you're selling against. What is it, their cost of manufacture? The cost of manufacturing is slightly higher, not a licensed system, and not protected by patents. So the inferior one, which does things in an inferior way, yeah. is more expensive. Yeah, and the, the that thing doesn't is, make any sense, right? I'll, I'll explain. We have the ability to roast the coffee in house. So, one, you save the GST because they can buy the green coffee off us. There's no GST on the product and sold. But it's also the road cost of getting the coffee there and getting it back to DC where we can keep it all in house. I, I don't believe you. Because <laughs> someone has the inferior product pods yeah. thing and does exactly everything the way you do it now. Okay, but with so the, clearly anyway, you don't please believe no, it. Please no, please. I'm speaking. Are you in or out? I'm Are speaking. You Are you in or out? For Christ's sakes, it's my money. We're here to talk to the bloke.
Coffee connoisseur Kane has pitched his $16 million coffee capsule business to the Sharks and has made Shark Tank history with two of the biggest offers ever made. Two and a half million dollars for 25% of your company. And my offer is two and a half million for 40%. But Steve isn't convinced and his doubts have caused a shark fight. Are you in or out? I'm Are speaking. You Are you in or out? For Christ's sakes, it's my money. We're here to talk to the bloke. Yeah, well, but we haven't so got all day. We're talking about Glenn and Andy. I haven't got all day. Do you, you need to go somewhere? <laughs> right. <laughs> You've actually identified this as a $2 million investment, right? So, and on, two and a half? I've made it two and a half, so th th these do require appropriate questioning. So if you're trying to rush the process, why are you trying to rush the process? And we're talking about a $16.6 million valuation. For God's sake, it's money, people, and this is business. So I'm on the, I'm on the fence, I'm gonna to continue to think, but it's two and a half million bucks, I'm gonna take as much bloody time as I want, excuse me. Okay, Naomi, let's go. I was going to come in with a different offer than you've already got from Glenn and from Andrew yeah. because I do know that you do need the marketing and I value my marketing skills. Yeah. So the offer that I'm going to put you is $2.5 million for 33 and a third percent of your business. Steve? Um. I'm having trouble making the numbers. Okay. I am. I think what you've, 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 we've all said it, you've done fantastically, right? I've got so much admiration. You've got a, just a, an absolute pair between your legs to go out there and put 16 point something million bucks of gear in a, in a, in a, in a, in a factory to, to start roasting, to attack the market, to take the market share you have is, is, is really fantastic. Uh, so I'm trying to understand how we can take this from the, the, the size it is now. I have a real, real trouble with that. Okay. So on that, you've got three offers there. I actually think they're terrible offers and you should ditch them all. But there, there's three offers on the table. I wish you all the best, mate, but, but I'm out. Thank you, Steve. All of that and he's out. Is there someone you want to talk to? Uh, well, fiance. Yeah. Thank you. Go have See a chat. A little bit nervous as shit. <laughs> I can see. Uh, yeah. It's difficult. Like it's it's. They're all. They all have really, really good attributes, and like I'm sort of stuck between um, them. Can you get the percentage lower? <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go smash it. Hi, so this is Alessia, um, my better half and, and the boss of the boss. Alessia, beautiful name. Thank you. Well, you must be very proud of him, huh? Building a business like that so quickly. Well, being a better half, I know I could do better. <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, you, mean you, you mean you work just as hard as he did? Oh, Probably harder. Trying to do my best, yeah. Fantastic. Kane, you've had three offers and that's the biggest amount of money ever been offered in Shark Tank. Two and a half million bucks. That's a first. It's a first. <laughs> so where do you land? Um, Naomi came with, with basically the ability to market with us and also being local. Glenn with the ability to upscale. Um, and yourself, Andrew, you have the ability for the US. And, and it was really difficult. Um, where we've come to, one, um, I, I had to still see it was We're, we're sitting with Andrew. Um, I spoke to Alessia and it was to see if you could do 20% for the 2.5. So they're out and I'm in, yeah. and you want me to come back at 20%. Is, yeah. that the, is that the bottom line? Yes. It's two and a half million dollars. Yes, it is. I'm buying a big growth story. How about 22 and a half? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Let's go. Yes. Let's take it to the world. Well done, Thank mate. you. Oh, nice to meet you. Good job, you Kane. Well done. Thank you. Great pitch. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Thank you, guys.
What an awesome deal. I know. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm going to have the best coffee in town. You are. You know, at the end of the day, what's, what's important is what the business is worth in two or three years. Oh, my God. That's the biggest deal in Shark Tank history. I know, it's, it's crazy. And I, I think by the time it died, Jess, and we're in the car and we're heading home, I think it's just going to all sort of hit you at once. I think she's going to have to drive. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate I after do. making history? <laughs> Maybe an espresso martini, a few of them. Yeah, very much so. Congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you very much. See you. See ya. That's awesome. That is the record deal in Shark Tank history. And it's a risk, but, you know, I just love his competence and I love his growth rate, and that's the blue sky I'm buying, and I think he can do it.